Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a really fast way to calculate invoice aging in Excel. And uh, there's only a few steps, and we're going to use a pivot table. But the first thing I'm going to show you really quickly is how you would calculate the days past due if you only had the date owing date uh, versus what today's date is. So if you wanted to have a revolving date like this, what you could quickly do is make a calculation for your days past due simply by typing equals today closing the brackets like that and then subtracting whatever the date owing is and that is going to actually give you the number of days so if I just change this from a date format over to days you'll see that that is 54 days past due so that's kind of how, how you would handle doing that with a large data set you just use that simple formula drag that down and you'd be able to get this information that I have here in my days past due now if we're looking at calculating the invoice aging quickly in Excel and bucketing that information into buckets of 30 days let's say uh, it's very simple using an Excel pivot table and here's what we're going to do so we're going to first select I have a table set up currently so if you want to create a table with your data set if you just hit control T it would create yourself a data set including your header information the next thing we're going to do is if I head over to table tools there is up in the top here a summarize with tip pivot table option under the tools. So I'm simply going to select that and you see that it's selecting table one, which is the table for my past due invoices. Um, now we have the pivot table here on a new sheet. All I need to do now is select days past due, drag it over into the rows section. So now you see that we have all of the days past due uh, consolidated here. And what we want to do is I'm just going to select one of them and I'm going to right click on that data point and I'm going to go to group and I'm literally going to say so it's it's allowing me to say okay how how do you want to group this and this is going to be an automatic way of grouping it from a starting point of one to an ending point of 170 so all I'm going to do now is I want to say I want to group this by 30 day buckets so if I just say by 30 I hit OK you can now see that it's bucketed all of that information and if I want to know the amount owing under each of those categories very quickly all I need to do is drop the amount owing into the value section if you want to change that currency if you just select that little drop down there we go to value settings head over to number format go to currency and then we'll have a beautiful currency valuation showing there so it basically shows us exactly how much money we have owing within each category and then from there you can double click on this of course using uh, Excel's beautiful pivot table tools if you double click on that it'll tell you all the invoices and all the purchase orders and you can make the phone calls based off of that data uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave comments below I appreciate you checking this out we'll see you next time